what's up guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to do a dynastic on my e90 bmw i've been driving this car for like nine months straight now like after i do the head gasket i do new water pump new thermostat and all of those things because when i bought this car you have a blown head gasket but the, um the problem it wasn't bad you know what i mean the head gasket it wasn't that bad because when I change the water pump, change the thermostat, change the, um, the radiator, it was driving fine. The only time I will have a little issue, like if I drive like an hour drive or if I drive up in the mountain, you know what I mean? I will hear like the reservoir tank is making a little sound like like you want to boil or something like that. So I was like, you know, I know I have some issue with the um, head gasket, you know what I mean? And I've been driving it until I start see start smoke. Start to smoke. Valve stem seal went out. So when the valve stem seal went out, I was like, okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna do a, a complete job. New head gasket, new valve stem seal, and everything like that. Right? And when I do that, guys, you know, new um new reservoir tank, new um oil filter hosing gasket a lot of gasket i replaced and all of that because it was it was leaking oil to all so now it's not leaking no oil and all that when i replace all of those gaskets okay so um but today i develop a check light so we're gonna go ahead plug up my scan tool and see what it's doing but when it's idling the rpms the rpm is jumping now and then like this you know what i mean you know, like I stop at a stoplight or something like that. You know, the RPM we just and you, you, you know you hear the car jerk, make that jerk to us. So, you know, but I've been driving it for the, for for the longest like that because I said there is no check light, so it's nothing serious. You know, what I mean, and I don't have the time. You know, because you know I'm working on the Honda Odyssey and a lot more cars and stuff. You know, what I mean, so I was just still driving it like that. You know, cause there is no check light or nothing. So I said. That's not a big deal right now, you know, that can stay. But today, the check light came on, so I think it's a perfect time now for me to look in, into it, you know what I mean? So we're just gonna plug the scan tool, see what it's saying, and see if we can dive deep into it and see what's going on. Okay, guys, so this is where you're gonna plug up the OBD2 scan tool, take that off, pull this piece out like that. Then we can go ahead and plug up OBD2 scan tool. Plug it up just like this. Alright, so it's in. Turn your ignition on. Alright, so here is the scan tool right here. So let's go ahead and scan this and see what it's saying. Whoa, guys, this is too bright for you guys to see. Let's hold it like that. Come on, are you moving so slow? So see the code here, guys. P0172. 16 to lean bank one okay so a bunch of things can cause that that code guys you know what i mean can cause from fuel pressure regulator dirty air filter faulty injectors a bunch of stuff you know what i mean but and we can be um leaking have our arm um, like the air filter hosing can be um, leaking, you know what I mean? Cause that, that could mean like too much gas is going down in the cylinders and less air, you know what I mean? So we're gonna have to check and see if we have any vacuum leaks or anything like that. Cause that can cause like for the engine not to, um, to get as much air in that cylinder. Cylinder one, bank one. Okay, and it can be um, Mass air flow sensor, O2 sensors, all of those things can cause this check light, okay? So, 
what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to smoke the engine first thing and make sure we don't have any vacuum leaks. I said I have this problem for a while now where the R RPM is bouncing and stuff so let's go ahead and start the car and let you guys see what I'm talking about with the RPMs. Okay guys, so I've been sitting for a few minutes and I haven't seen it's bouncing or nothing so I'm going to put it in drive and see if it's going to do anything different. In drive, you see it? RPM is moving now. Let's put it in reverse. Hmm. You don't want to bounce like what I'm talking about. Normally, it's bounce heavier than that. Normally it's bunks harder than that guys, okay? So anyway, we're not gonna worry about that right now. Let's see what is the problem with the check light. That's what we're gonna work on. So we're gonna smoke the engine first thing. Okay guys, so before we go ahead and smoke the engine, we're gonna need to remove this um, gearbox from here. So there is two 10 bolt on the corner right here. I already removed them. Take those out and plug the um the mass air flow sensor from right here all right then this um clamp right here you're gonna remove that clamp from there hose clamp and if you use a flathead screwdriver and move that and then you can just take this out so we're gonna go ahead and take this out okay guys so now i have my smoke machine hooked up right here I just hook it up right here to this gearbox hose right here. I wanna see if we have any leaks going on and stuff like that. So we're gonna pump some air in it, smoke. We're gonna pump some smoke in there and smoke the engine and see if we have any vacuum leaks going on. Okay, so I have this hooked up. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. It's gonna be making... <laughs> Okay guys, I detect uh, we have some leaks going on back down in here. You know, we have a vacuum leak going on down there. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove all of this so we can get more space to see. we we'll try to see where the smoke is coming from. So I'm just going to remove all this right here. Okay. Okay guys, so after I remove the covering from up here, cabin air filter and all that. Now we're gonna go ahead and pump some more smoke in there and see if we can really see where this leak is going on. Sorry about the noise in the background, them doing some work on the road, so they have a machine running out there, you know what I mean? Sorry about that. So let's go ahead and pump some more smoke and see if we can see where this is coming from. Okay guys, so I think I found the problem. It's the vent valve oil separator. You know what I mean? It's way back here. This, this hose connect to it also and it connect to the valve cover right here. You know what I mean? It's all the way inside here. So we have to remove the manifold to replace that. So I just order it off Amazon. And I'm going to get it in three days time. So when I get it, I will just um, create another video showing you guys how to remove the manifold. And, and how to replace your vent valve oil separator. You know what I mean? So 
let me go ahead again and turn on some more smoke and make you guys see it's coming from way back down in here it's even leaking oil i put my hand on it way back here and and my hand get wet with oil and all that so it's leaking let me see if i can feel that turn on the smoke See that guys? See the smoke? You guys can see that. Bunch of smoke. It's a tight spot. Your hand cannot fit here. When I push on the, when I squeeze the gloves right here, guys, and push the smoke in there, I can see pushing back here. Okay, okay guys, so that's it. You know what I mean? We go ahead and smoke the engine. And we find out that we have a vent, vent, vent valve oil separator issue. Some people call it CCV valve or PZV valve. You know what I mean? But it's vent valve oil separator. I already ordered it. You know what I mean? Because I confirmed that by just smoking the engine. It doesn't cost me nothing, guys. As you guys can see, I have my scan tool here. Scan it. Find out what is the code. Then I said, okay. It can be a vacuum leak, you know, it can be a lot of different stuff, guys. It can be your um, O2 sensors, you know what I mean, all of those things. And it can be your um, fuel pressure regulator. You know, you don't want to go ahead and buy a bunch of new parts thrown into your car. And when you check it out, it's just a small vacuum leak you have. You know what I mean? So you go the cheapest way first and the easiest way. You know what I mean? You can always buy a smoke machine if you don't have one. I invent this one myself, it only cost me like maybe $15 to build this one. You know what I mean? It's easy. Alright? So, guys, if you find this video helpful, please go ahead, like the video. If you haven't subscribed as yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Alright? So, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one.